Hey, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Thursday's message about what's happening at the office here and what we're doing uh, in trying to handle the coronavirus uh, and its effect um, locally here. First of all, uh, a couple of announcements. Manum Township has suspended their CO program whereby uh, they're not issuing certific certificate of occupancies at this point in time. So if you have a property in Manum Township that's under agreement or you're putting a listing on the market at this time or you're looking at a property in Manum Township thinking about putting together an agreement of sale, this is probably going to impact you. I don't know the exact length of time that they plan to suspend that. You may want to contact Manum Township to get further details, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Next, um, the company has and will be putting in place a virtual open house section of the Sunday newspaper. Uh, now attached to this video email and a link in the YouTube section where this is going to appear, I'm going to give you instructions on how to do that. Very, very simple. All you do is just get your video and email it to, a, um, to an email address that I'm going to give you and you don't have to worry about holding open houses in this very trying time. You can have those virtual open houses and have buyers still go through your property and get the exposure that you're looking for for your seller. Once again, more details on that can be found in the link. The company is also putting together an addendum that should be in dot loop before the end of the day. It's an addendum that you put with an agreement of sale and buyers mainly should be using this, but sellers you may want to uh, utilize it also, is you're warning people ahead of time that the dates that are found in the agreement of sale, they're more than likely going to be a little fluid. You're going to have to have some flexibility as buyers and sellers, and we are encouraging you as agents to have those conversations early on with your clients so that they are aware that if something in an agreement of sale says April 30th as the settlement date, they ought to remain flexible and ready to make changes based upon what we're experiencing either with title or mortgage or some other thing having to do with the municipality. That addendum should be ready to go once again by this afternoon. You'll find it in the buyer packet in dot loop as a standalone form. It is something that we highly encourage you to have your uh, buyers and sellers sign. It's not a required document in that you don't have to have it to submit to the office, but my heavens, uh, it, it's a good idea to have this conversation with buyers and sellers early on in the transaction so you don't get a week away from settlement and have it fall apart because you don't have the mortgage commitment yet or you ran into a title issue with getting uh, tax certifications, that type of thing. So once again, that's going to be available to you this afternoon. Next thing, showing time. Showing time is adding some things to their showing time instructions. And I'm going to read this verbatim uh, from the uh, news press announcement that they put out. It says, we've also added notifications to showing agents asking them to confirm that to their knowledge, they do not have COVID-19 when scheduling a showing. So be prepared to answer that question when you are setting up showings. Uh, it's something that they have, once again, uh, just added recently. In addition, I know when you uh, put together the showing time instructions, one of the boxes that you can check off has to do with overlapping showings. Please, we are highly encouraging our agents, our listing agents, do not allow overlapping showings. Even if it's a vacant listing, which in the past most people have basically said just go and show and you're allowing those overlapping listings, we don't want buyers who are touring a vacant listing to get surprised by somebody else who's now in the property at the same time and then they have a concern once again over the virus. So I wanted to make you aware that showing time is changing just a little bit. In addition, um, I've, I've talked to most of the teams in the office and talked to, about them that if the office closes down, what they would do and what their contingency plan is with their admins and how they're going to conduct business. I'm also making you as a standalone agent who doesn't have a team, 
If you utilize things here in the office on a consistent basis, I want you to think right now about what you would need at home to operate. If there's something here in the office that you need, I would probably come in at some point in time over the next day or two, get that, take it home with you, operate out of your home environment versus here at the office. The last thing we want to have happen is we get told as a company that we have to shut down our offices and then you're left high and dry without some of the things that some of the tools that you need to conduct business. Just want to give you a heads up. And oh, by the way, just wanted to make you aware, I have not heard anything one way or another whether this is coming down the pike or not at this point in time. Next thing, I want to let you know that over the next two days, I'm probably going to be meeting with title and mortgage here in the office. We're going to be putting together some Q&A videos for you, uh, for your benefit as an agent. Title is dealing with a lot of issues right now as far as getting verifications. Mortgage is in the, kind of the same boat. So I'm going to have our internal core service people on brief videos explaining some of the things that they are experiencing right now and how it may affect you as an agent and the settlements that you have coming up. And by the way, it's not just with our title company and our mortgage company, it's with every book. It's with everyone across the board. So I wanted to make you aware that those are on the very near horizon. I'm going to start with title either later on this afternoon or maybe early tomorrow. And finally, you may notice if you get into the office that we have separated our staff. Uh, we are trying to practice good social distancing, so they may be spread out and not in the normal place that you may see them. I just wanted to give you a heads up. And once again, kudos to the staff again. They are dealing with things almost on a daily basis that uh, they've never dealt with before and they've come through to this point with very um, with flying colors. I also want to commend you, the agent. Uh, these are trying times at this point in time. Uh, we don't know what we're dealing with. We don't know how much worse it may get before it gets better. I know you're operating uh, remotely in many instances. Continue to keep doing the things that you're doing, and if you need help, additional help, our staff and myself are here to help you. We want to see that you get through this trying time together. Thanks. Have a great day. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please forward them on to me. I'd be happy to answer them for you.